Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, I'm James, I'm Adam and we're here today to give you guys our preview here for the Arsenal game obviously coming up in the EFL Cup 4th round uh, somewhere quite a good progression actually for Reading Yeah, got a big game, uh, obviously it's Arsenal away So uh, all the massive fans, you know, they've all, <laughs> when was your last game? Oh, when we were last in the Premier League, nah, all the big fans will be out for this one So um, yeah, obviously should be interesting to see if we can actually create an atmosphere or if it'll be people sat on their hands and knees because they're not Reading fans and they actually don't know about the club and they don't know the songs. So it'd be pretty interesting to see what the kind of um, crowd is like. But uh, yeah, obviously we're here to give you our preview for the game. Obviously we do our starting 11, our uh, score prediction and our rating out of 10. So starting off with goalkeepers, I'm actually going to go with a full strength team for this one. Yeah. But so far in the cup we've played a weakened side. I want to play a full strength team against Arsenal, so we go Ali Al Habsi. Perfect performance against um, yeah, Rotherham. I've got agree with you, I've got to say Ali Al Habsi as well. Uh, fantastic saves he made against Rotherham. Uh, kept us, you know, basically we've been 2-0 down. Yeah, uh, he played a 9.8 out yeah, of 10. Yeah, so, so got in team of the week on the paper. But uh, yeah, played a fantastic game. Uh, so I'm going to go Ali Habsi as well. Right back, I'm going to go with Tanai Watson. Um, I'm actually going to see what your right back is first. Uh, I reckon I'm going to go with Chris Gunter. Um, Chris Gunter suspended. Oh, is he? Yeah, that's why I've gone for Tanai Watson. Um, Gunter, he... Wait, so if he was. No, 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 Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Chris Gunter, he was meh against Rotherham. He didn't have the best game, he didn't have the worst game, but, you know, I'd still rather Tanai Watson play. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to go with Tanai Watson now. Um, but, uh, yeah, Tanai Watson. Give him a chance in there. Hopefully, you know, he can yeah, step up. Tonight, we're going to be in or Iwobi. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, we've got to remember, Arsenal will be playing players like Oxalade Chamberlain. We've got Tyler Blackett. <laughs> they could play Phil Walcott, you know, up there, but you never know. No, uh, not. That's not even. He's got a hat trick. Um, but yeah, going into the centre back position, is going to go with Liam Moore and Paul McShane. Obviously, they have a good partnership against Rotherham. Um, yeah, Paul and Liam, they've always had a good partnership since yeah, they started, really. I'm going to go them too as well, obviously. Uh, you know, fantastic partnership. Paul McShane came on against Rotherham, changed the game completely for us. Um, more stable at the back, yeah, weren't they? Uh, more solid at the back. Uh, obviously, Kelly came off early on, like, I think it was half an hour played, and he went off. But um, obviously, yeah, Stan um, said about his opinion on that, saying, you know, uh, rather than playing the style of play, what Kelly doesn't suit, but uh, yeah. He was kind of out of the game, weren't he? The yeah, he was, was too fast for him. Um, it's down to his height, I'd say, not going to lie. Uh, is, uh, they're playing it over they the top. They were long balls, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, that's not his style of play, sort of on the floor, uh, getting deceptions, etc. But yeah. Left back, going to go with Tyler Blackett, personally. I uh, wouldn't play Jordan Abita in this one, because... Jordan Obita is a more of a forward thinking left back, whereas Tyler Blackett's a defensive one. I've said that ever since Blackett's came to the club, and that's why I'm picking Tyler Blackett over Jordan Obita for the Arsenal game. Yeah, uh, big bit about this, Obita or Tyler Blackett, but I'm going to say Obita. Uh, I think he's a bit more of that um, attacking player, as you just said. Uh, I think he's going to go out there um, and help uh, cross the balls in uh, to Jan Kermigan. But uh, Tyler Blackett is the offensive player. Uh, which we'll probably will need, but I'm still going to go with Obita because I feel think he has that bit more energy than Blackett, and yeah, I'm going to say Obita. Also going for Blackett because he has the experience, he's played at the Emirates before for Man United, yeah. he got sent off there as well, I'm pretty sure, um, so hopefully he won't do that again, but yeah, got to go with Blackett. CDM, I'm going to go with Joey Vandenberg, uh, if Ali Al Habsi didn't play that out outstanding game, he was man the matchup perfectly, um, penalty he won, so many tackles he made as well, Joey, he's... Even you've got to admit, you're not a Joey fan, but you've got to admit. Um, yeah, I've got to say, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, not the biggest fan of Joey, I've got to admit, but um, man of the match, I'd say, against Rotherham, um, I think he probably played you know, a bit more better than Ali Habsi, in my opinion. But um, yeah, uh, Joey, you know, won the penalty, got the tackles Also in. got in team of the week. Yeah, got in team of the week as well, so yeah, um, man of the match for me, Joey, was uh, played fantastic, but um, yeah. Were you playing? Yeah, definitely playing, sorry, yeah, I was going to play with Joey in that <laughs> CDM role, uh, but yeah. Yeah, centre mid's going to go with John Swift and Danny Williams. Obviously, there's no point changing so that it's not broken. Um, John Swift as well, he probably should be in the Premier League. I mean, not going to lie, his dribbling ability is absolutely fantastic. He's not in the Premier League, he's got to go to a higher championship team at yeah. least. Well, I mean, at the moment, we're a higher championship team. Yeah, we're eighth. you could say We're that. eighth, we're top half, we're top top, ta top tier at the moment. Um, you could um, say you could be in the Premier League, but there is, you know, there is a question that he's... He's lazy. To he is lazy, there. so he's got to work on that a bit, and yeah. And also go Danny with... Williams as well. Um, I pick Williams because it's Danny Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with them too as well. Obviously, um, what I want to see from Danny Williams is a bit more passion from him. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, a bit more passion from him. I know you know he's you know the passion in the team, but um, 
I want to see him get a bit more involved in the game. Been a little bit quiet in a few in a couple of games. I thought he was passionate against Rob. Yeah, you could disagree, you probably disagree with me, but um, yeah, I think um, yeah, that's my opinion. And then Swift, you know, he got quite a lot of, um, touched on the ball, uh, played it around a lot. Uh, I think he needs to shoot a little bit more. He hit the bar. Yeah, I think he still needs to shoot a little bit more. It's, we sort of try and pass it in uh, a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Left wing gonna go with Roy Behrens. Um I mean, again, there's no point changing it, is there? Um, yeah, you could say that. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with Behrens as well. I think you know he got down that wing quite well. Um, got a lot of balls in. Not afraid to take on his man, which is good. Uh, obviously, I don't think he was that good in the first half. Second half, he came out of the show a bit. But uh, we want to see um, him from straight away getting into that team. And uh, yeah, let's go into it. Right wing, going to go with uh, Gareth McCleary. Um, obviously, he scored against Arsenal before. Hmm. Uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's a couple of years ago now. <laughs> wow. Too long. <laughs> um, yeah, again, Gareth McCleary put him in there. Um, he doesn't actually play in the EFL Cup yet, but why not play Gareth? Why not? Mm. Might as well play him. Let's just go balls to the wall and just put our best team out against Arsenal and just try and win. Just try and win the yeah. game. Try and cause a massive upset. We're nine to one underdogs. Yeah, I'm going to go with McCleary as well. Um, no reason to take him out of the team. Um, you know, he can cause a lot of that, uh, cause the Arsenal fans to quite a lot of problems on his day. But um, yeah, I'm going to put McCleary in there. And finally, up front, I'm going to go with Dominic Samuel. I don't think Jan Kermigan will play in this game. I think Samuel will get his chance, obviously, because it's the EFL Cup. Um, they're going to rotate the side around a little bit. And um, Joseph Mendev's injured. Jan Kermigan, I reckon he'll be on the bench. And I reckon, personally, that Yapstan will play Dominic Samuel in this game because he said he's waiting for him to have his chance as a cup game. He's fresh. Arsenal players won't know anything about him either. So it's a completely different play style to what they're probably expecting from Jan Kermigan. So Dominic Samuel up top. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dominic Sam as well. Uh, Yankham, we're going to think he's going to be a bit tired, you know, playing 90 minutes uh, against Rotherham. It's the end of his so career. Maybe yeah, Sam was right not to bring Samuel on, you know, leaving him for two, um, what, the Arsenal game, which is very clever, obviously. But, um, yeah. Be very good. yeah, it might be good for Samuel, you know, show what he can do. And, yeah. It's only Mustafi and Gabriel yeah. or yeah. Koscielny or whoever's going to be playing at the back. <laughs> But um, no, I mean, people are coming off the bench, obviously, Jan Kermigan, because see Callum Harriet get involved. Um, I mean, the likes of George Evans as well come on yeah. the bench. Um, Liam yeah. Kelly, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, going to scoreline prediction, I'm going to go with a 3 0 win to Arsenal. Um, I just don't see a scoring against Arsenal, to be fair. Arsenal haven't lost in. They've lost once in seven months, I think it was. I don't know, I just can't see us winning the game. No, I've got to agree with you. I'm going to go with 2 0 Arsenal. Um, That's your first loss you predicted this yeah, Newcastle. Um, I think we're going to lose 2 0. I don't think we're going to play, you know. I think we're, going to, we're not We're not going to play bad. I reckon we're going to play alright, but it's just because it's Arsenal. They're going to tear us apart, I reckon. Uh, and I don't think our defence is just quite there yet to protect the. Um, <laughs> To stop uh, Premier League strikers. To stop Walcott, yeah. Hazard, Hazard. Okay, um, Raiders, I lost the space, quick sign in. Walcott, Chamberlain, Perez, Giroud, Sanchez. I've been a stop Giroud, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Obviously, I've been James. I've been Adam. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.